Hey guys, so I just kind of wanted to show you something that I recently learned of today. Um, Michael MJD uh, made a video, he recently made a video about a new Windows Update restoration project. And that is Windows Update Restored. And what that project does is that it aims to restore the legacy Windows Update websites and allows older Windows operating systems from the 9x series, you know, from Windows 95, 98 ME, up to uh, XP, Windows XP. And, yeah, it's just basically a, a replacement for the old Windows Update servers that are pretty much non-functional anymore because Microsoft has basically shut them all down after the OS's went out of support. But, this project aims to restore those and brings the <laughs> it basically brings um, you know getting updates from them like how it used to be back in the day now obviously this is basically a work in progress like there are going to be some parts of the site that actually work but there are going to be some that are not implemented or don't work as of yet and there are also some update packs that you know are not implemented but you know, obviously for 98, there's going to be some, most of them are probably not going to be present, but there are, there's going to be a handful of them that are pretty much available. So keep that in mind as it's work in progress. But so without further ado, let's go on to the Windows Update Restored project. Let's go to the website, Windows Update Restored.com. Alright, welcome to Windows Update Restored. This is a community-based project and is actively updated. So, so it's a work in progress, but it's getting, it's constantly being updated almost every day since the project actually started. This project aims at restoring the legacy Windows Update websites and allows older operating systems to obtain updates like they used to. So, from 95 up to XP. Ever since 2011, when Microsoft pulled the plug on nearly all Windows Update websites, the Windows Update features for older Windows operating systems were no longer functional. The only way to install updates after that point was through external third-party installers which didn't cover all the updates that the operating system fully supports. So with this project we can now update operating systems as old as Windows 95 all the way up to XPRTM like we used to back in the day. XPRTM, that's one thing we kind of make note of. Uh, this project probably won't support updates from Service Pack 1 to service pack 3 of Windows XP, so that's out of the question at the moment. The Windows Update website provides users with security updates, optional updates, driver updates, and other types of software for the operating system. It only restores the Windows Update website, not the automatic updates feature. Yeah, that's that's the one point that's the one point that it needs to point out. To find more about the Windows Update website and what it does. It is only compatible with a certain amount of operating system. And they also have a disclaimer here that this feature won't provide, um, you know, new security or, or feature updates, obviously, and the computers still may remain vulnerable to viruses and etc. Because they, these older operating systems, well, they're pretty much well out of support, and no feature or security updates are being offered for these older operating systems. But, you know, it's this project is pretty much useful for people who, who like mess around with old computers and tinker around with old computers like me you know I just recently started getting into this obviously um, since last year but yeah this tool is perfect for retro computing enthusiasts or retro computing people like me you know just to kind of update windows for fun obviously Anyways, yeah, there's the news update. Windows Update Restored website has launched. We introduced our very first officially restored Windows Update website, Update 3.1. Okay, and uh, let's go to compatibility. Wondering what which versions are compatible with each version of the Windows Update website? Well, this is where you can view that. And the list of versions, so Windows Update version 3.1. Um, I don't know if this was the first version of Windows Update to be ever available. Um,
This is version 3. Yeah. This is the first version of... This is probably the first version of Windows Update. Update 3.1. And it supports Windows 95 up to Windows 2000, obviously. There are... Um, you can see in the color brackets, you see which ones are supported and which ones are not. So, like, for Windows 95 and NT4, they say yes, IE4+, plus, but 98 I mean, are fully supported, and Windows 2000 has support up to Service Pack 2. Then Windows Update version 4, you know, that came with the release of XP and Server 2003, and they all supported it. 98 and ME support it, and then, and then so on and so forth. Yep. Windows Server and X64 editions of Windows will also work for these websites. So there's Windows NT4 Server, Windows 2000 Server, Windows Server 2003, Windows Server 2008, and such. And they also offer IE downloads. Sorry about that. That's just my <laughs> that's just my laptop that just booted into Windows 7. <laughs> Not my main laptop, one of my other old laptops. But anyways, Downloads Internet Explorer. This page lists some downloads of IE that you can use for the Windows Update website. So we got IE 5.01. This is the version that came with Windows 2000, obviously. 5.5, 5.5 Service Pack 2. Windows Update requires 95, NT4, 98, ME, and 2000 to work. Please access the website using one of these systems for the website to work properly. Okay, let's go into the Windows Update website. Oh! Look at this! <laughs> it's like updating Windows back in uh, 1998 or 1999, I think. Okay. Welcome to Windows Update, the online extension to Windows that helps you get the most out of your computer. So, I'm reading from a Wikipedia article here. Uh, this is a, the web app of Windows Update. It offered official, additional desktop themes, games, dri device driver updates, and optional components. So, the initial focus was free add-ons and new technologies for Windows. Security fixes appear later and beta versions of upcoming software. <clears throat> so, Windows Update was kind of built for feature updates and security updates came later. So, let's go to product updates and uh, we'll see what's going. We need to get the update Windows Update control package. Uh, yes. Windows Update is customizing the product paid product updates catalog for your computer. This is done without sending any info to Microsoft. Oh, there we go. We got the update servers <laughs> pretty much working as it is. So, uh, well, I kind of installed the. Uh, I kind of I kind of got the uh, security update CD 2004 installed on here, but. Not the full list of updates in here, but let's see what we got here. Security update, March 7, 2000. Picks of the month, critical update notification 3. I know there's some criticism around that, though. Um, MSN Messenger 3. Non-Gregorian calendar update for Office 2000. 98 second edition map drives shutdown update. Internet print service. 128-bit dial-up networking for 98 second edition and chat 2.5 and device drivers is not listed but okay let's install all these updates you can only download security update March 7 2000 separately from under components click OK to return to the product updates catalog and download security update March 7 2000 after installation okay I don't know what that is, so it looks like I'm all <laughs> yeah, so all the other updates are blanked out because we only selected the one. All right, now we'll start the download. 
And we gotta read the license agreement first. We click yes. And it's gonna update for us. <laughs> you must restart Windows so that the installations can. What? Could not be installed because the file was not found. Yeah. <laughs> so that's one thing about this thing. The whole the whole Windows update restoration project is pretty much a work in progress. So um, as soon as we restart, we're probably not going to get anything you know, from there. Yes, this computer has a multi-boot configuration. And if you're wondering about what computer this is, it's the Compact Versario 7000 from the year 2000. Probably this computer, this particular compact was manufactured in June of 2000, obviously. But I found the quick specs sheet online for this specific computer. It's the first computer in my retro computing collection, obviously. But enough about that. Let's reboot. So yeah, nothing really much. And this is what happens if we try to go into the actual Windows Update website. Yeah, it's getting us caught in the loop. So, to remedy that, we need to go into the Windows Update Restored website and go to Windows Update 3.1. There we go. Product updates. Uh, yes. Please wait. Windows update is customized in the product updates catalog. So basically, um, this update server works mostly. I mean, we we can access the website. Uh, you know, a restored version of the website, and they get all. I mean. They pretty much, the team working on the Windows Update Restore project, you know, they actually went to the, they used the Wayback Machine, Internet Archives Wayback Machine to try and find the older uh, update packs for these older versions of Windows, obviously. So that's how they were able to make this recreation or restoration project possible, obviously. So, here we are. We're trying to update things here. Obviously, it's gonna pretty much take a little while. I'll probably make some jump cuts here. All right, do you want to install and run? Yes. So, I'll just let that go and then I'll jump cut once it finishes installing all those things. All right. Um, there we go. The following updates were successfully installed on your computer. Chat 2.5, MSN Messenger 3.0, 128-bit dial-up networking for 98 second edition, internet print service, 98 second edition map drive shutdown update, non-Gregorian calendar update for Office 2000 server release, service release 1, and critical update notification 3. Alright, let's restart. So yeah, I'm pretty much updating uh, certain components of Windows 98. Um, obviously, obviously um, the update the update packs for Windows 98 are still a work in progress, but at least we can get the most of them, so that we can get <laughs> you know updates from Windows 98 to work. Obviously, I mean, Legacy Update does not have support for when for 9x Windows 9x operating systems like Windows 98. And yes, I'm running the plus package for Windows 98. That's why we got this boot screen. And log on. Updating system settings. Alright. And I'm assuming it kind of updated all of our stuff. 
MSN Messenger Services, and then Microsoft Chat, obviously. They're all updated, obviously. I'm not going to check for them right now. And we'll go into uh, Windows Update Restored and go back to Windows Update version 3.1. I'm actually going to have to save this. You know, I'm actually going to add that to my favorites. I will create that under the bookmarks stuff or the links. So the links stuff. Windows Update. There it is. Product Updates. Yeah, I'll do that right now, so... Windows Update is customizing the Product Updates Catalog. So yeah, basically, yep, there it goes. No updates of these types are available at this time. And this one doesn't work for some whatever reason. But that that's okay because the whole thing's a work in progress. So, yeah, that's basically just the gist of me. Uh, going through a Windows update restored. I can't show you uh, at least what all the things that it that update restore offers. I mean, we could check a little bit on these thing on the stuff that's not implemented yet. So, Windows update version 4, 5, 6 and the Vista site. So, if we try accessing these, <clears throat> this is what we get. This version of the Windows update website is not complete or online yet. The version of the Windows Update website you're trying to access is not complete yet or is not online yet. Please come back at another time and try to access the version of Windows Update website you're trying to access. These are the following versions that have not been restored. So version 4, 5, 6, v6 web and v6 vista web. Check out some of the following pages for information about the Windows Update restored website. So there's the about and the frequently asked questions. Yeah, so all of these are not... Yeah. The version 6 site, it loads up the standard, you know, the standard Windows Update link, and you can see it, it's doing the same boot loop. Microsoft Update, and that's putting us in a, in a loop. And the Vista site, that also doesn't work as well. They got the MSFN uh, forums, and they also got a Discord server. And here's the About project. You know, it's got, it talks about the history of the Windows Update website. It talks about what is this website and how do these websites work. And like I was saying earlier, they got all the, they got all the updates from the Wayback Machine, the Internet Archive's Wayback Machine. They then modified the files and found missing files to get the sites working. And they were able to redirect updates from being downloaded from Microsoft servers to their own to their own news server to ensure that users will get every single up available updates yeah and they said there in quotes we are able to obtain these missing update files via the wayback machine which has been extremely useful throughout this project so yeah and they also got frequently asked questions obviously yeah, most of them talking about, yeah, I wouldn't recommend uh, using Update Restored and use your old PC as a daily driver. Unless, unless you want to have a challenge. I mean, I, I've seen people do challenges where they use older operating systems for like a few days or about a week or so. You know, that's obviously Windows XP and stuff. Anyways... Um, yeah, that's about the gist of, of Windows Update Restored. I mean, I just have my, I just have my foot in the water, you should say, you know, a little tip of the iceberg on the Windows Update Restored website. I obviously won't cover most, if not all, the features Windows Update Restored website offers, but at least we got the basic, um, uh, gist of how it works under Windows 98 second edition obviously but yeah that is that about the Windows update restored um, website so yeah I guess that's it for this video thank you guys for watching and I hope to see you all in the next one see ya